Welcome back, boys and girls. I'm sure you've noticed something different about us. What's on our face? A mask. It's covering our mouth and nose because um, the re just for the same reason that you're inside your home and you can't go to church to see your friends. COVID-19 virus is a, is a disease that can get you really sick. All you have to do is breathe it in. How can we get it through our lungs? By someone coughing or sneezing into the air and squeezing that in. So, but how can our pen sneeze travel? Let's find out. Before we do, I just want to show you guys something. So I see a lot of people that are out there and they're wearing gloves, which is fine. But I want you to realize that if you do wear gloves and you happen to get something on your glove, what's going to happen is you're going to end up touching something else. And if you use those gloves and you touch your face or the steering wheel in your car or you touch something that you are riding with, now that germ is on whatever you touch. So it's important that you change your gloves. What you have to do is grab the end here, pull this one off, and as I'm holding this one in my hand, I can put this one over it, and now both gloves are there, and I did not touch whatever was on the inside. Let's take a look at this investigation to show us how far All you need can go. is construction paper or cardboard, a flat surface, and water inside is a squirt bottle. To demonstrate this, stand at one end of the of this flat surface and spray it. That way you can see the droplets that land on the construction paper, so you can see how far a sneeze can travel. You can go from really close, or even back it up. Wow. She was standing at about four feet away, and she still got a whole bunch of droplets on the paper. That's why it's very important that you guys continue with social distancing, stay at least six feet apart. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you continue to stay curious and stay faithful for God.